Okay, good. You know how to draw, read, right? Now, did you guys draw the battery or did you draw the symbol? What's the difference between the battery as a picture, as a drawing, and as a symbol? We discussed this also. Do you draw the symbol? Some of you draw the battery like it is, like a rectangle, and then you put a positive term here. Or you draw it like two lines, one long line, one short line. That is a symbol. So that is the difference. So how many of you drew it as a symbol? How many of you drew it as a drawing? You both are correct because I didn't tell you to draw, make it a drawing or a symbol. Um, as long as you attach them at the right place, then I'll show you how it's supposed to be attached so that we all revise what we did last week. And then this week, we are going to re-emphasize on the symbols, the circuit, like you saw the batteries. How is a battery made? You saw, we, saw, we saw a short video of how the battery is made right that means does it have cotton inside does it have metal inside everybody thought there's only metal inside but actually there is a liquid inside how many of you know batteries have liquid inside some of you may have found that after a long time your toys leak some kind of liquid in the batteries because they have been dead for a long time and then they have not been used so they started leaking out of the battery so there is liquid those of you have found out by experience you know that's the liquid. This liquid is what powers up the battery. And once this liquid energy is gone, then what we call it the dead battery. Okay. So those batteries where they, they are dead and the liquids cannot be recharged again, we, talk, we call them non-rechargeable. So they are dead forever. But if you can recharge them, they are called rechargeable batteries. So there's another new. So of course, during the course of science, inventors and scientists went about to think, hey, we can't be wasting so much. What? metal in making these batteries and also going to waste so they made ideas to actually create rechargeable batteries okay that's how we got into rechargeable batteries much much later it's actually a new technology but you guys were born in an era where rechargeable batteries was already around but when i was born i probably think there were not too many rechargeable batteries and even if there were they were very big okay um, basically, your laptop, especially if you can see, the bigger the appliance, the bigger the battery. So your phone has this size of battery. Your laptop has a bigger size of battery, and that's rechargeable as well. It works on a rechargeable concept. Okay, you, every time you plug in your power, it's not connected directly to the laptop, but it's connected to charge your battery, which means sometimes you can just unplug it and work without the charging. Okay. Okay. I'll give you another short assignment to fill up to kickstart today's lesson. Interesting one, see how many of you can pick up the blanks quickly. Okay, very good, very good. Excellent. I've got all the answers ready. Arrangement of the batteries, the number of batteries, the arrangement of the bulbs and the number of bulbs, right? So batteries and bulbs, the number and the arrangement, simple. Okay, I'm not going to fill it up because if I always keep putting in the answers that you just copy, copy, and then you're like, you don't want to help me. So you are not writing, but I must write. Not fair, right? So you write, I write. Okay. You type then. Cool. Okay. Let's move on. So this is the essence of today's lesson. We are going to find out that if we arrange the batteries differently, or if we have more batteries or less batteries, it's going to affect something. What's it going to affect? The very first line, the brightness of a bulb in a circuit. So the brightness you can actually see. Hey. Eh? When I put the battery in this way, the bulb is brighter. The opposite of brighter is not brighter. <laughs> dimmer, okay? The opposite of brighter is dimmer, okay? So can you see that you have to arrange the batteries and the number of batteries and the arrangement of the bulbs also matter and then the number of bulbs also matter. So let's look at how they matter. Circuit A, so tell me how they matter. Firstly, arrangement. We have two types of arrangements, okay? Not every one of us have gone through this chapter in school. I understand that. So you may not be familiar with the word. So those who are familiar, write me the answer in the chat. If you're not familiar, it's okay, but the helping word is actually on top. Bulbs can be connected in series or in parallel, which means series means they're next to each other in a series. Parallel means they are on top of each other. And therefore, this one is so if I quickly move on to the next, then you can understand, hey, what, what does this guy mean by series and parallel? This is parallel. The bulbs are one on top of the other. 
and there's a connection such that you see the green connection and the yellow connection where the electricity can flow. The electricity can flow in two circles. That is called parallel connection. Whereas in connection A, it can only flow in one circle. So that is series. You understand? So when there are two circles, there are two options for electricity flow. You can actually skip one option and go because there are two options, right? It's like driving a car. You have two roads to take to reach the destination. If one road is blocked, you still can use the other road, right? So that is the concept behind parallel. So that's why when later we will look at, hey, suddenly one bug will get spoiled here. If one bug gets spoiled here, it's still okay. The other bug will still work because the other road is still open. Whereas in a series, if one bug is spoiled, the whole road is closed. You cannot get through to the other bug. So by the bug also, electricity doesn't reach. So it's closed road for both. Then you don't have electricity in both. And therefore, no light will light up. So I put both next to each other. So now the connection is there. You know if it spoils, okay, you can take the other road. But would you know which of these bulbs will be brighter? Which one will be dimmer? In which circuit? Circuit, there are only two circuits. Huh? Circuit A and circuit B. There's no circuit C. Although you see three diagrams, actually there's only two diagrams. Because one and two in circuit B are the same. So bulbs in circuit A are dimmer or brighter. Remember, when they are in a series, they actually share the current. Okay, there's only one root. So the voltage is shared, the battery's voltage is shared to both the bulbs. So they, they take some power from the battery and they share. Therefore, they are dimmer. Whereas in circuit B, they both give the same power from the battery because they are parallelly connected. There are two circles. They are not affected by each other. They are independent bulbs. Okay, so that's the reason why in circuit B, the current will be brighter. So the answer for the second question, bulbs in circuit B are brighter than in circuit A. So this is the very first thing you have to learn today, which is if connected in different ways. Now, remember, there are no extra bulbs. There's no three bulbs versus two bulbs. There's not one bulb versus two bulbs. It's just two, two, right? We, we must keep the experiment fair. In order to keep it fair, we must keep some of the conditions the same. We are keeping the number of bulbs the same, the number of batteries the same. However, we just change the arrangement. And we decide, hey, with this new arrangement, what would happen? Oh, one side will be brighter, one side will be dimmer. Which side will be brighter, which side will be dimmer? This will be asked to, for you, for, from you in the questions. So you are supposed to identify, oh, in series, I learned that the bulbs will be dimmer than in parallel if given that all other conditions are exactly the same, okay? Like I said, this part, right, where we build a circuit later, I'll bring you to a website where we can build our own circuits. That's why I say it's quite fun later. It's gonna, it's gonna happen exactly around 5, 5, 10. Okay, I, I need about 10, 15 minutes to actually go through and then we start constructing circuits on the website, which is very fun because you're gonna love Mr. Ali doing it that so much so that after this lesson, immediately you want to go to the website and try it yourself because you have no control over my mouse. But later you want to do it yourself, you can go in there. Cool, cool, cool. Where's the bulbs and the fusing? Okay, what happens? This is what I mentioned earlier. Fuse means the bulb receives too much energy or too much voltage and it blow. Another word for fuse is blow. The bulb blow. That means spoil. So to keep it in a simple language is spoil. Okay, of course, in electrical terms, we call it fuse. So if you ever see the word fuse, it means the bulb blow or spoil. So what can we do? We need to check which of these roads are closed. Okay, one of the road here is only one road, one circuit only, one direction, the current can flow. So therefore, if any bulb fuse here, both bulbs will be gone. Even though one bulb is spoiled, both bulbs will be gone. So can you imagine in your house, you have four bulbs in your kitchen, okay? And then you connect it in series. What happens is one bulb blows, all the bulb will blow, right? So what happens is even though only one bulb is spoiled, all three doesn't work. That's because you connect it in series. Hmm. Now, I sit down and think, I'm an electrician, I go to your house and I think, how can I make sure that all your bulbs 
will still work even if just one bar spoils. Simple. Connect it in parallel. You give me four bars. I make this type of connection in circuit B and I tell you, hello, Mr. Brandon. Hello, Miss Shanice. Hello, Miss Chloe. Hello. And I say, you don't have to worry about the circuit. I connected in parallel. So if any time one bar blows, all you have to do is change that bar, but the rest can still work. Whereas if I connected it serious and I went back and collected your money, I cheated you because one fine day, one bar is gone, all bar gone. Then remember your kitchen will be dark for cooking and cannot see anything. So I think all of you right by now, you understand that everything in our house is probably connected in parallel. Otherwise, it's foolish of us to collect it, connect it in series. Then you may ask, Mr. Ali, then why, why do we need to learn series? Everything is um, parallel is okay. Right? Series, no need to connect. I think it's a pointless exercise. Oh, then we need to know what are the advantages. There are advantages in connecting in series as well. Let's look at advantages. You probably need to use, consume less energy. Okay. To connect it in parallel, you probably consume more energy. So your electricity bill will be higher. Whereas to connect it in series, your energy will be consumed a bit lower. So if you can, you need to find a balance. Do you want both lights to be on and you want to waste more money? Or you want to just save money? This is the question I will ask you when I come to your house. And then you say, I want to save money. Okay, you save money. Okay, I, cheat. I charge you cheaper. Or not, not exactly me, right? The electricity company will charge you cheaper because you are so uh, scared of paying more money. Okay, then we connect it parallel. You, you will have electricity bill. I mean, connect it in series. You'll have electricity bill, is, which is cheaper every month. But... One day, one bar blows, your whole house will be deep. Would you want that? So, in different situations, we use the series and parallel connections. We will have to study that in detail in a while. So, we got to write down the advantage and disadvantage. You know by now, right? Connecting in parallel gives you the advantage where, oh, if one bar spoil, good. Okay, I can still keep the other bars. But the disadvantage is it requires more power. On the series side, it requires less power, good. But whenever the bar is blown, all the bulbs will be not working. So that is the difference for bulbs. Okay, so summary of bulbs done. Now we need to move our attention to batteries, right? Batteries, there you go. So you can help me fill up again. That was quick. Okay, now you guys are in the flow already, you know, series and parallel. So if the batteries are next to each other, just like the bulb is in series. And of course, now we are playing with what? The batteries. So we only changing the batteries. We are not changing the bulb. The bulb here is one type of bulb. However, it looks different on both sides because one is a drawing, one is a symbol drawing. This is why I started the lesson with, right? Remember, I asked all of you to draw. How many of you draw the left side? How many of you draw the right side? So left side is a drawing, proper drawing, which we don't waste time in the exam purposes. And usually teachers also take the symbol drawing to be faster. So you want to draw very fast. You just draw a circle, you put a cross. But all of you, if you are in P5, P6, you must know, hey, that teacher just drew a bug. How did you know? You know that your siblings in P1, P2 will never know that because they haven't learned science yet. They haven't come across batteries or bulbs in symbols here. Only you will know. When I draw a circle and a cross inside, you know that's a bulb. And when I draw a long line and a short line, you know that's a battery. You know that the long line is a positive terminal. The short line is a negative terminal, all that. You know, right? Okay. And there are other symbols as well for you to learn along the way. Can you imagine by the time you go to SEC4, what kind of symbols you need to have in your disposal? At your disposal? A lot. Okay. You probably have a lot more. You have something called a fuse. You've got a resistor, you've got a switch, you've got a thermistor, many, many more, okay? Variable resistor. Okay, I teach science in secondary school as well. So you know that I must be teaching a lot more than this. So you, we are keeping starting basics, 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 okay? Okay, series done, parallel, how to connect like that, right? Very fast to draw. Now we don't move the bulbs, we only change the batteries. Very good. Okay, very simple this one. Which bulb is brighter than earlier? Remember, we discussed by connecting the bad bulbs in a different arrangement, we can get brighter and dimmer. Now, in this situation, 
which battery arrangement will give you brighter will give you more energy more give you more voltage it's clear it shows you in the diagram with those lines on the bar those lines more lines show you brighter some of you did say circuit b some of you say circuit a so there's an argument now let's fight it let's fight <laughs> Let's see who, maybe I should have done a poll here. Uh, no time to do poll. Huh? Should I do poll? But time type a poll will be too long. Never mind. You but I can see from your answers, okay? Jimika, Sophie said B. Isra said B. B will be brighter. Reva, Nandini will say B. Everybody said B. Jimika said A and yeah, Jimika said A. Charlene said A. Hey guys, the answer is already on the slide, lah. La la la, come on guys. The bar has some lines showing the brightness. More lines equal to more brightness. So which one is more bright? Guys, I'm sure all of you can see. Hello. Change your answer now, now, now. Those of you say they change your answer to A. Okay. How many of you are distracted by videos that are switched on by other students raise up your hand nobody here. because you know right other teachers don't allow you to on your videos i do because it's fun to see your face and fun to see your car brendan it's fun to see you chloe riding in a taxi or a car <laughs> chloe hi chloe you are traveling we all can see you can you're giving us a tour of singapore Thanks for that. We don't, but we don't know where exactly we are. Maybe we should like open up a contest to all the students and say, guess which part of the world Chloe is in. Chloe Kwan. <laughs> she now cannot guess with it. She off a video. See? Ali is very interesting. He knows how to off people's videos without switching off by the computer. He just talk and can switch your magic. All right. Brandon also. I've seen your car, right? I don't know how many of them people saw you. Maybe you can show your car now to everyone because everyone's focus is turning to Brandon Lim. Brandon has this car he bought on eBay and he wants to show everyone. He's really excited to show his car. <laughs> Brandon, also off his, off his, <laughs> he off his video also. See? Dad, why are you on, switch on your video? For what? Don't want to show me then why you switch on your video. Okay, great. That was just for fun. Huh? You all want to come back? Come back. So like I said, it's always fun over here. Okay. Battery summary. Okay. Why do we arrange them in parallel and series then? Remember in bulbs, we talked about if one bulb goes, we still have the other bulbs. Then we actually have less energy used in the series. Okay. That's advantage. In the bulb also must have some advantage. Otherwise, we can just adopt one method and we don't adopt the other method. For example, you open all your toys. You buy toys from Toys R Us. Open up. You some sometimes they ask you to use the screwdriver. That's annoying, right? Because all every time that happens, you need to get your parents to bring the screwdriver, open it up, and then put the batteries in. And then when it's gone, you need to take it out with the screwdriver. And then at at that right moment, you can't find a proper screwdriver of that size. Am I right? <laughs> happens to all of us. And then we are stuck. We are stuck. Okay. So Brendan says he's showing his car right now. Good. Because I couldn't see earlier. I don't know if Brendan's car is uh, operated by battery. Brendan, unmute. Brendan, the, you can talk. It's, it's a model. The, it's a model. Okay. So you made the model, right? No, no, no. I bought it on eBay. Oh, so it was already constructed before you bought it? Yep. Why don't you buy the pieces and construct it? No, it can't. It was built in the factory okay i got it okay back in my time when i was in primary school right we used to buy such stuff also like model cars model airplanes and they it all came in parts right even nowadays they do right we're not talking about lego here we're talking about real model that looks like brendan's car once you build it it looks like a car not like a lego okay lego is actually once it's built the lego doesn't really look real right it looks like a lego it's fun to build Lego because you can build many things with the parts, but for a car and so on, once you get these parts, you put them together. And then sometimes you even need to use super glue to 
put them together and then that's it you cannot break them apart anymore okay so there are many types of so first brendan is interested in uh, car models model cars so he bought one he showed us okay next week maybe the rest of us shall maybe i will share also mm -hmm. ah, some of you are like interested in animals yesterday's class i don't know how many of you attended yesterday's class i showed my cat the so-called cat which i might show to p5 p6 next week p3 p4 i showed some cat and they said show me your cat actually the cat was inside the powerpoint slide so it wasn't real right it was a picture and then this student got really upset i didn't show my real cat and carry it up and show her because burn always shows his dogs and i haven't shown my cat well i'm leaving it to a day when things are going well with all of us and then we have extra time then i will invite my cat okay bye bye <laughs> okay now we have to finish this off then i have to show you the slide that i wanted to show you focus on batteries okay if the batteries are in parallel or the batteries in series okay advantage of batteries in parallel they last longer so when you open up your toys like i said of course if you put them in series it's good you've got more power your car can run faster your toy car your toy whichever toy that you put your car, your batteries in will, will provide more power but it will last less longer okay it will last shorter time that's the difference between parallel and series okay now since all of you are eagerly awaiting the circuit thing now it's what it's four more minutes okay four more minutes i can cover this four more minutes okay so let's do this when more batteries are connected in series the bulbs in the circuit shine more brightly this very easy this easier than anything that we've done so far today when more batteries are connected bulb will shine more brightly i don't even have to ask you this is well known okay more batteries more power more light more energy more brightness okay if less batteries then less energy less right okay but if more bulbs are added the individual bulb shine less brightly if individual if more bulbs are added okay so now again number of bulbs we're not talking about batteries but bulbs but number earlier we talked about arrangement now bulbs we increase two to three bulbs that means everything else the same just increase the bulb number from two to three what happened because three of them share the voltage now they will all individually shine a bit less brightly how to see this zoom in on your eyes zoom in on the slide and you see the number of lines i draw from the bulb one diagram circuit d shows three lines the other diagram circuit a shows only two lines which means they are less bright or they are dimmer reason because now there are three people sharing the apple for example we all have apple right then three of you share you get less if two of you share you get more same thing so three people sharing the same battery so that you get less energy less power to shine brightly so that's the answer here shine less brightly and we are we have finished whatever we needed to know before we answer the question so we can answer the questions pretty quickly because all of you from last week i told you you didn't do your homework go and do again so it's the same homework that i assigned last week those of you who didn't listen one time didn't listen two time this I don't know what to say. Then next week, you want me to give me the same, give you the same homework? Uh, that would be boring. Okay. So if you didn't really do your homework, then you are not helping yourself, and you're just coming here to just chit chat with me. Okay, fine, chit chat, and then we'll chit chat through your PSLE and we see who who does better in the exams. And then we'll see. Okay. Now, since my promise of showing you back to the website is here, so let me go back and share something that I wanted to show you. Okay, I guess we are there right now. I need to clear up some windows and show you what I'm going to show you. Here we are. Okay, so we'll go to this page, which is called a circuit construction page. Okay, interesting. If you go to this website, they allow you to build a circuit. So all I have to do is pull. So can you see my arrow going become my finger? Now where's my arrow on? Something called the battery okay some of you have been there before you are really telling me yeah i've been there before a teacher may show very easy just drag the battery put here cool now i can add one more battery or so okay so i have more power right uh then i can cut it off or i can just leave it then after battery i need wire right and the wire must be 
whichever way long or I can put any way I want. I can put this like that also. Okay, then what do I put? Uh, switch maybe. Okay, let's do a switch. Then let's move it this way. Make it shorter. See, is it fun? See, I can do funny things like that. Ooh. Okay. So it still works, right? Even if it's a bit not so straight, it still works because it's connected. And then I should have another wire to connect my bulb. Oh, I should drag it. Drag it, drag it. Got it. Then I should have a bulb. And you can see automatically the wire connects to the metal what casing over here. And then the other wire will have to connect to the metal tip. Remember, remember, remember where it connects. Okay, so it will connect. So now we learn by doing. We learn by doing. Now, by now, I know all your fingers are itchy. Teacher, I also want to do. Okay, the website is just up there. Okay, later you are going to do. You only have like 20 more minutes. You can go and do yourself. It's called brain pop. And then you have to go to electric current chapter. And then you go to games. If I'm not wrong, it's under games, it's called a game. And then you click on circuit construction and you will finish. Okay, so what, how do you finish this circuit? We need a battery. Do you know that I can just put one more wire or I can just connect it straight like that. This, I save my wires or I can just put another wire. So I just connect it, it's the same. Or you can split it and do this and just use another wire so that it looks better and not so ugly or confusing okay so we can straighten it out if you want you can straighten it out see you can straighten it out see and looks like the ones that we see in the textbook so it doesn't matter if whatever way is as long as it's connected okay so we see the current and do you know what's this who can see the arrow on the bottom right hand corner? Where's my cursor now? Right at the where the battery is. Now, because the battery is clipped here, it's showing the battery in the drawing form. I can change it to the symbol form. Shall I, you want to see me click it? If I click it, what happened? You see? You can learn the symbols immediately because the batteries are connected, the switch is connected, the bulb is connected, and so on. You can still play with it, but now this is in symbol. And therefore, the, the left hand side, where the wire battery, light bulbs, resistor, and switch also is in symbol form. And can you see I can actually add more stuff? I have a lot of symbols over here. I can add more stuff if I want to. Okay. And then on the right, I have voltmeter. And you see there's a voltmeter. So where do you connect voltmeter? Now, this is not in your chapter in your syllabus yet, so we're not going to add any voltmeter. And ammeter. Okay, so if you don't, I think some of you know what's a voltmeter. Voltmeter is a instrument that what connects and finds out the voltage. An ammeter is connects and find out the current. Okay, some of you last week also mentioned. This week also mentioned that the light bulb here, the symbol is different from the light bulb in the PowerPoint. There are two different symbols. Both are correct. Okay, of course in school we may use the bulb where there is a circle and a cross inside. Do not worry. Okay, do not worry. It's the same as the one that is shown on the slide here. It's the same. Okay, you can draw it in this way or you can draw it with a cross. Usually, right, okay, let me tell you how it works. Okay, usually in primary school, maybe you don't trust your drawing so much that you can draw so nice, like accurately, like this. So we put a cross just to put maybe it's an elementary drawing for you. It's like how you would draw a dog or a person in kindergarten versus you draw a person or a dog in primary school versus a dog if you draw in secondary school, it becomes better and better. Suddenly it becomes like an art piece, can sell to people. But in, prime, in kindergarten, you draw a dog, doesn't look like a dog at all, right? That's what I mean. Your drawing skills become better and better, so we teach you better ways of drawing. But, but both symbols are accepted widely. We teach the easier one to you guys in primary school, and then in secondary school, we teach the one that, this one that's been shown here, okay? Another reason why it's different is also because different countries adopt different symbols, like in US, versus UK and US Singapore, it might be more applicable to use the symbol that we learn in class or the one that you see. So universally, there are actually two types of bulb symbols accepted. So don't worry about that. Just 
stick with the one that you learn in school, but it's better to know that there are two types. Okay, so this site, I'm going to leave it there to let you to play with it. And then next week, maybe we add more things and you study a bit more in detail after you played with it. So I don't want to go too much. I want to finish off the questions today. So the questions should be pretty straightforward and easy because we already learned what we need to know. Okay, so diagram below shows four circuits with four different arrangements of identical batteries and light bulbs. You need to be able to identify, okay, zoom in, okay, meditate, okay, you guys, you know, don't be confused. Okay, then to go with the question, which of the following show the correct order of brightness in the circuit from the brightest to the dimmest? Yay, okay, so just go for brightest. Which one do you think is the brightest? Now, this is a bit confusing because you've got different batteries and different bulbs number so i'm going to let you have a shot at this give you 30 seconds to figure out which will shine the brightest and which will shine the dimmest Okay, so we know more batteries brighter, right? But less bulbs brighter, right? You cannot have more bulbs. If you have more bulbs, you share the energy, you become dimmer. So you must have less bulbs. So you must less bulb and more batteries. So so the brightest, so brightest must have more batteries. So either this or this. And less, so it must be this. So the brightest is this one. So Q is the brightest. Dimmers must have the least battery and most bulbs. So this is the dimmest. So it must be P. Cool. Then you fill up the rest. <laughs> between, so we've got P and Q, brightest, dimmers. The other one, between R and S, which one is the next one? Hard to say. So from dimmers, how many of you got QRSP? Very good. Okay. Very good. Okay. So because S has so many bulbs, it will actually make it dim. Even though you have increased the battery to two, you didn't increase to three. Okay. You increase only two times, but bulb you increase three times. So you actually make it dimmer more than brighter. If you added three batteries, then you may say, hey, balance. But you only added two batteries. So that's why it will still be dimmer. Okay, great. Answer is B here. Challenging, huh? but you need to put in all your knowledge to practice here. Okay, now bulb A and B are both connected as shown in the diagram. Both bulbs light up with equal brightness. Both bulbs light up with equal brightness. Bulb C then is connected to the circuit. What happened to bulb A? 
Mm, again. Wow, so difficult. Ah. Okay. You need to take think now. This is really starting to think already. So this is brightness. A and B are bright. C is coming into the picture. What will happen? Bob A will be dimmer. It will not light up. It's definitely wrong. It will all light up. It will all light up. Okay. But the power or the dim or the brightness will change. So now it will be of the same brightness. Also wrong. Okay. There must be a change because now this is same. So it must become dimmer or brighter. A versus C. It will dimmer or brighter. Because C does not sit with any other guy sharing. Okay, he doesn't share his apple with anybody beside him. He will be brighter. Whereas bulb A is sharing with B on the same road, so he will be dimmer. That's how we decide. Okay, remember always sharing your apple. So you have this means you are sharing your apple. But if you are here alone, you are not sharing your apple. You are getting the energy directly to this guy but this one is sharing because you're on the same level same house so you can also say something like your hdb flat you're on the same level right so let's say every floor i give every floor i give two apples right every floor i give two apples so the guy beside if you have a neighbor you have to share with him but if you don't have a neighbor both the apples are for you that's the concept same thing okay now you get the idea So always talk about neighbors. Neighbors are those sitting beside you in series. Okay, again, start thinking. Which of the two circuits can be used to test the effect of the arrangement of the bulb on the brightness of the bulbs? Which two circuits? You only must choose two circuits. Test the effect of the arrangement of the bulb. Hello? So that means change arrangement keep the rest the same keep the rest same that means number of batteries must be same number of bulbs must be same and num arrangement of bulbs must be same so number of bulbs what is to be kept the same number of bulbs number of batteries and arrangement of batteries all must be same. Only change arrangement of bulbs. So choose, huh? while I'm writing down, you can choose already. So this is what you're supposed to do. So find two diagrams where you have same number of bulbs, same number of batteries, and the way they arrange the battery is the same. But looks like all of them are arranged batteries the same. So this one doesn't really matter, right? Because it's always in series already. No parallels being shown. So thank God for that. So number of bulbs and number of batteries must be same. So shall we choose A, two batteries, and D, two batteries, two bulbs. And the arrangement is different. So it looks like this is the best choice because in others they change the number of bulbs which is not what we want okay we want the same number of bulbs therefore and we want to have the same arrangement or no different arrangement so you have to choose a and d so answer is b okay those guys need to think through it you think through it and then we will okay get the answer next one The diagram shows four circuits, identical batteries, light bulbs have been used in each circuit. Okay. Which one of the following arranges the bulb from the dimmers to the brightest? Now, you need dimmers first, take note, then brightest. So take note, huh? not all the time is brightest first. Okay, your turn. Tell me, arrange for me and type for me.
Okay, so you need to figure out how do I make a circuit drive based on what I learned. How do I make a circuit drive? I need to use more batteries. I need to use, use less bulbs. If I have the same number of bulbs between, let's say, your friend and me, how to beat you? I have to connect my bulbs in parallel, whereas you will connect in series and you will lose to me because I have the same number of bulbs. A teacher gave me three, teacher gave you three. Now teacher says, whoever gets the brightest bulbs will win. So what I'll do, I based on my knowledge, I will build the three bulbs in such a way that they are in parallel. Therefore, I will win. So that is circuit B. Okay, therefore B will be the brightest. And in order to find out the arrangement, I don't even have to because my options give me only one B at the brightest. Can you see? So the rest actually I don't have to do. But the dimmers is definitely the one with the most bulbs sharing the apples in series. They got, they got the most neighbors. So this one dimmers. You get the idea? If you have the most neighbors, you have to share all the apples with everybody. So you will not have enough apples for yourself. You only have one pot per apple. Then C will be the next dimmers. Next one. Okay. Then so for C, then D. Because the other one at least have some parallel, but they share with two neighbors. Two neighbors, two neighbors. So answer is C. We'll just go and do two more questions, then we call it a day. Okay, all of you are tired. How many of you went to school? No, right. Didn't go to school, all slept right today. And then woke up for HBL. Okay, but you still did HBL. I still appreciate that you guys did HBL. So it still is tiring, staring at the screen for too long. Okay. So we shall dismiss you at four, five thirty. We just got two questions. The diagram below shows four circuit diagrams. Which of the following shows correctly the arrangement about from the dimmers to the brightest? Now. I can close my eyes and do it. Answer is, let's go. Dimmers, I think this one should be given in a primary five question. Shouldn't give in PSLE. Brightest, am I right? And in that order. So which are following with dimmers to the brightest? Answer is PSLE. PSLE. PSRS. PSRQ. PS. R, Q. Answer is A. Quick one. This one is much easier than the rest. La, final question before we call it a day. Okay. Final question. There are more questions, but you can always look out the answers. Check your answers with the website. Remember, you did these questions on the website in the CAA. The question, the answers are already there, and I will also upload these answers again one more time on the website on live classes. And then you try them if you haven't done it, and then check and so on and so forth. We're not going to go through the open-ended questions today okay this is enough i think the the mcq really were challenging enough for you to learn something which is to what uh, to identify which one will burn brighter what burn shine brighter or which one will be dimmer based on arrangement number of batteries arrangement number of batteries arrangement bulbs number of bulbs blah 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 and also parallel series arrangements okay so answer here study the circuits all the bulbs in the circuits on the tree are the same. All the bulbs are lit up. Which are the following statements? Brightness is correct. This one, this type of is correct, are correct, must go and read all. Read all statements. And put a tick beside each other or each other or beside each one. The bulb in circuit A is as bright as each bulb in circuit C. Now, firstly, this will be the brightest. Okay, this will be slightly dimmer. This will be the dimmest. Am I right? Because they have, this guy has to share already. This guy share, but still there are two. Not really dimmer, should be actually same. You know why? Because he gets four apples per floor, remember? Let's say, okay, two, let's stick to two. Two apples. I give him two apples per floor, right? So I'll give him two apples. Two apples. Every floor gets two apples. So still, and this guy gets one apple, one apple because they are on the same floor. Understand? Because they got two apples on the same floor, but they had to share. This one they both didn't have to share because the distribution of the battery is such that every floor he will give the same number of 
apples. It's not leaving one to each to the floor. Okay, that is the key difference you need to take note. So therefore, actually, it will be same brightness as A. Take note of brightness as A. Okay. So which of these are correct? Right, it's not brighter. It's not same brightness as well. So both of these are two are wrong. Am I right? You can see by the number of apples. Apples determine the brightness. Looks like I have to do with apples just to introduce you guys. Later when you get more comfortable, you don't know, you can forget about the apples. Okay, apples means how bright they are. Okay. So because we are talking about distribution of some goodies to the bulbs and the bulbs take these goodies if they take the goodies as bright okay answer is b great today's lesson was fun because we know how to tackle this question in class i can be 100 percent sure these questions will not be good for uh, sorry but not good will not be easy for your fellow classmates in class show them don't don't believe you bring these questions and show them out of these six questions that we did today they will make mistakes if they haven't attended my class or they haven't attended your science teacher's class because it's not easy. But you attended my class and you know how to get apples from the batteries. Have a good day and I'll see you next week with another lesson, hopefully with a little bit more to show how we can save electricity at home and how to keep ourselves safe from electricity. Safe use of electricity will be covered next week. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.